Hello and welcome to episode number 7 of this Let's Play uh, Workers and Resources. Uh, Soviet Republic here at Hannibal Nor's YouTube channel. Now, uh, last episode we got our uh, first vehicles rolling across the border. Already hard at work making the roads that will connect our Republic together. So, we are today going to, well watch things being built uh, we are also going to be uh, double checking a couple of things here because uh, when we kind of build all of these some of these things yeah, here we go not a piece we could build uh, we're not building anything here Yeah, it seems like uh, we we're not building everything here, so it's always nice to kind of double check. Oh, there we go, we can build that one, that one, that one, all of this, and you know what? You actually don't have a road connection, so we'll give you a little road connection right here. And now that it's raining, we can show you how incredibly slow they drive on a uh, rainy mud road here. So, 8 kilometers per hour. Not very, very efficient. So that's why we're operating into Bravo Roads, so our vehicles can uh, speed up to uh, 35, 34 kilometers per hour on mud roads. Well, it's slow, but it is uh, progress. Trucking through mud is uh, probably not a fun thing to do. Or maybe it's fun. Maybe it's fun. I don't know. Hmm. I would imagine it wouldn't be fun. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't think it would have been fun. Uh, we're going to be still kind of keeping, keeping our eyes on... Oh, well, there was also a other... Another um, common line here that wasn't built. Yep. Just going to keep an eye on everything here. Uh, we can't build this until we have, uh, well, build this thing here. Shouldn't be that long. Um, oh, here I see an issue. You are not finding your way home, so we're just going to co press Control and H, Control, Home, and then we should be able to get home. So, let's see, it was a big... Big bang outside. <laughs> Either it's uh, thun thunder or lightning or somebody threw something off cliff or something. Not quite sure. Uh, have the window open. I'm usually usually don't have the window open, but it's a little bit. It's not like super warm, but it is like well, it is warm and you know it's raining and yeah, it's it's kind of like ugh. ugh. Ugh, is the best uh, word to describe it, I think. So we are in April 1960. Uh, 22nd of April, actually. Um, things are going... Going to plan here. There we go, we can also build Q now. So if we press escape here, we can kind of see that... We are making a little bit of progress on the roads. Um, we have finished a couple of roads here. Um, some road segments here, and here, and well, this is going to take a while. This is a long stretch of road. Also, did it help to um, to uh, give you a road section? I don't know. I, I think we'll send you back home and tell you to be. Medium priority? Was it these? Oh, actually, it was these that... Uh... <laughs> Alright. Oh, fair enough. We wasted a little bit of fuel on that. Um, we are going to be planning some further expansions, I think. Or at least looking for something. I kind of look at this area here. I wonder if there is any resources here. It would be cool to have like a little mine or something here. We could see if we can and make um, let's see, a coal mine. Any coal out here? 
No. No, not at all. Alright, how about oil? Oh, there is actually oil. Oh, it's actually a fairly decent patch of oil as well. Alright, uh, there is a fairly decent patch of oil up here as well. So I think we should be able to get a couple of pumps in here if we want to. See if, the, if we are in luck. And if there is any more oil here, we'll just uh, go around and... Kind of skim the uh, territory here. It seems like it was only those two patches here. Yep. Although I do think they were fairly decent in size and quality. Let's see, where was it? Up here. So, yeah, 90%. 90 That's pretty good. So I guess we could potentially get a couple, couple of pumps here. So... Basically, if we now put you down here, you see that that is kind of the area it will take from. So we could, for example, um, have a uh, pump here. 32% of 70, so it's not going to be much, but it's a little bit. Um, so we could potentially pump out quite a bit of oil here. Uh, just don't tell the Americans. Um, 17, I don't think that is worth it. Because they do require also quite a bit of power. Uh, 3.9 megawatts per hour. Yeah. And then we also had a nice solid patch up here. So if we do that, like 90%, 50%, uh, 35% and 20%, 21%. That might not be worth it. But yeah, that's going to be actually quite a bit of oil. So uh, so that is something we're going to be... Um, that's something we're going to be thinking about, I think. Um, it's a shame we didn't find any coal, though, because I, I always like to... Uh, I always kind of want to build a mining town, uh, which, um... Is there, oh, iron? Is there any iron here? Oh, that is one of the house rules I forgot. Uh, we are not going to be building a steel mill, so we're not going to be producing our own steel. Uh, we can recycle trash, though. Uh, into steel. I think that is, um... That is a good compromise, right? Doesn't seem like there is any iron here either. All right, so I guess we're gonna have uh, potentially our oil, oil thing over here. So now I'm kind of glad we land this bridge, uh, this uh, not a bridge, but this little area here. And we could potentially also have like all our trash thing here, because this is probably going to be super polluted. Let's see if I can move these names again. Since there's nothing out here. Yep, that's good. Alright, let's uh, go back and have a look at our city here. Um, seems like we have gotten quite far on the road side of things. Let's go over here and see. Yeah, we'll... Uh, Oh, well, the reason why this is dark green, of course, it's asphalt. Oh, that makes sense. And we'll build those. Oh, we've gotten a little bit further here. So... Wait, where is the... Yeah, we can't do much here with... I was kind of thinking maybe we can make a cheat road out here, but I don't think that is going to be in order, sadly. No, yeah, we're basically just going to be building everything here. Let's see what we... Uh, yeah, we already have one crane uh, moving. 
So let's get these back up. So yeah, you're still going to be doing this, which is a high priority, which is fine. And I closed the wrong window. Typical. Typical noob behavior. All right. Once you go noob, you always be a noob, right? There we go. Right. Mac you in there, and we should be fine. I'm kind of looking forward to getting this section here done, because that's kind of a lot of traffic that goes here. Also, you know, I have recorded quite a couple of episodes, right? And I can't, was it last episode? We, uh, we reserved some names for some of our subscribers. So if you are um, a subscriber and a member of the, uh, not a member, but if you're a subscriber and you want to have like a um, place named after you, oh, comment section, comment section. It could be that we already have gotten uh, some um, some of the um, name suggestions, but uh, but yeah. Uh, another thing that I was thinking of this bridge here. What should we do here? If you look at the top, the top, uh, the top, uh, top, top graphy here, this is kind of like a nice place to kind of uh, bend the road in here. So I wonder if that is what we're gonna do. But I also wonder if we should get a um, get a um, trumpet going over here for rails. So, mm, yeah, is that even necessary? Hmm. What do we have over here? Uh, nothing much. We have a custom house way out here and a custom house way out here. None of them actually have any um, any rail connection. So if we start to build something out here, well. Gonna take you a while before we're gonna be able to get the tracks out there. Let's um, get back to town here. Did they ever build whatever? Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that. We've got our first power connection, although it's not connected to anything. So, no. Soon, soon, right? It, it did actually help build this little road here. Oh, here we go. Now build you. Now build you. Uh, you. Um, yeah, this still needs to have all those roads built. Now, luckily, the roads uh, are quite easy to to build. Uh, basically, just uh, putting gravel and you know, flattening it down a little bit, and uh, and there we go. Um, why are we not building these? That is kind of. Yep, I'm kind of glad we are um, double checking things here. So, um, yeah, this looks looks kind of like a nightmare, but okay. We uh, we we had some plans here. We would like this road here to bend over here. And kind of get out through here because this seems to be it is kind of like an elevation here but it's not as bad I think this might be the highest point uh, we could potentially also have gone out on this side here but I do think that's gonna be a little bit tricky uh, we're gonna be starting with uh, tearing down our previous plans and um, we'll see if we can make a road out here um, I'm a little bit worried that all this area is gosh this is hard to say topography map although we probably are gonna be turning it back on real quick because we're gonna need to figure out where the road is gonna Oh, 
So we're going to be making a diagonal road here. So let's get some, just a little bit of um, stuff here. Uh, it's going to be a little bit tricky to make a, um, how should we call it? A, uh, a proper, uh, it's going to be this one, isn't it? No, it's going to be... Yeah, it's going to be this one, right? So, kind of halfway through here, and then we can get another half road in here. And it seems like it's a little bit wider. So maybe it's not like 100%, so if we take a road from here, uh, maybe. Maybe it's the same width. That makes sense. So we kind of would like to have a bridge coming up here, and I don't know. Do we want to have anything on the sides here? And I feel we might not want to do that. It's a it's a tiny little area here. Let's just double check and see if there is any resources here. Although I think not. Um, well, there is gravel. Quarried stone. Uh, no oil here. Uh, no coal here. No coal on the mountain. Usually coal is... kind of have a tendency to end up in the worst possible location. Uh, iron mines. Let's see. Is there any iron around here? Nope. Nope. So we'll just um, go straight through here. Yeah. I mean... Potentially we could have made... Continuation of the city out here. Nah. I, I, I don't think that's a good idea. We, it's way too far away from the... Um, bus stop and the supermarket here. But we are going to have to plan some sort of um, high-density residential zone here eventually. Uh, but back to the bridge. we uh, It's going to be kind of hard to plan this, I think. So if we take you, go out diagonally... Is correct. I kind of feel that is not correct. This is more correct. So if we go to about here, then one and a half out here, and then we're going to be making the bridge here, and let's go to about here. The two, one, two, three, and then you're gonna come out to here. One, two, three. Let's just see if the pillars are kind of aligned. Yes, they are. Um, hmm. I mean, we could have done something like that, make a very wobbly bridge, but I, I don't think we're going to do that. I think instead we're going to pull the bridge back, or the road back a little bit. And instead we're going to have to make a longer bridge to make this look nice. So, we'll go out... 62... And in the middle, one, two, three, up. And it seems like it's perfect. And then half here as well. And one, two, three. Gonna miss a little bit. But, um,. It's all fine, right? It's, it looks like it's straight. 
Uh, and then we'll pull this back a little bit. I am tempted though. Let's do it. We'll uh, we'll make a little um, a little situation here where we could potentially potentially utilize this area. I don't know. Maybe like a little statue on top of that little hill there. Who knows? Who knows? Now let's see how this is going to look if we bring you out to here. I think that is good enough. So we'll bring you out 62. Or 1, 2, 3. 60, that could be good enough. 1, 2, 3. Bring you up. And then we'll connect the road. Okay, connect the road that way. Then we'll get you. Now, do we want to have like a steep curve here or a... If we do that, let's just see how that looks. I don't think that looks too bad. No, I don't think so. But then we're going to be making a, um, a trumpet that goes across here with rails. Now that could be fun. So we'll start the track from here. Just to get something to uh, get us started with. Uh, turn on the snapping tool here. Uh, we'll bring... Let's see if that is too far. It probably is. And then you go. Isn't good enough. There we go. Yeah, this could be... Well, it could work. It could work. It means we're going to have the connection. Well, that means we're going to have to remove that road. So let's ignore that plan. It means we're going to be redoing the bridge here just so we can have better pillar support yeah it's fine right right yeah I think it's fine okay then we're gonna go to the railway we're gonna be building these curvy bridges here And we're going to go one, two, three, up. And these bridges here, they work kind of similar to uh, these uh, bridges. You can kind of bend them and such. Which is, uh, well, it's actually a good thing. Now from here, usually I like to do something like this. But for some reason, building right next to a bridge kind of hinders us from doing that. So what I like to do is, instead of building that way, we're going to be building that way, that way, and pretty please work. Okay, so we'll see if we can get a connection point in here somehow. That would have been very nice. I think we'll do that first. Oh, here we have a global event. The price of oil on the global market is rising up. The global economy is impacted and it is possible that prices will not return to normal anytime soon. All right, good. Price of oil is going up. Uh, again. Now, what am I doing? We were supposed to start from here. Um, that. And then, not from that point, but up to the side here. And then we'll go out a little bit here. Then we're going to be removing those little helper lines here. And then we're going to be bringing that in here. Like so. Ooh, somebody's going to have some fun neighbors, I would imagine. A ginormous bridge coming down into their 
living room here. Right, so we're gonna continue out here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Can we do this? Maybe. No, it needs to be a little bit longer. Just a little bit. So if we go up from here and go out perhaps to the middle here. And then, oh, we're probably also going to need to remove some of the road here. Oh, it could be that this also is not good enough. So, usually, you press Q to go down, and then, for some reason, you kind of... Drag this out until you have the entire track in sight. And then we'll select the track again, and then... Yeah, we kind of missed a little bit. Oh, look at that! A random named sewage tank is being picked for construction. So we're going to be setting that prioritization up. And uh, we are going to have to, again, extend this bridge a little bit. So... What is it here we put it? Well, that's too far. Too far, too far. Could be that we have given ourselves a little bit... A little bit, um... Yeah. So, we're going to have to push this back. Either that, or move it a little bit to the side. That would probably be the easiest way. We'll, uh, we'll move it a little bit to the side. So, I'll to... Oh, oh it's nothing today, my friend. I'll to here. And turn on the snapping again. And we're going to be removing all of that, and that, and that. And then we'll see if we can make this uh, work for us. So, again, diagonally out. Up, one, two, three. And remove some trees, because they are in the way. Three. Yeah, we'll place you right about here. And we'll drag you up here. Also, by the way, if you drag the bridge the other way, uh, the, the beams are not going to be rendered at the same place. So, if you're building like a double track like we are doing here, always build from the same side when you're building bridges. And the only place that might uh, be messed up is um, is when you um, have like diagonal rows or stuff like that. But I think we can make this look fairly decent. If we did go all the way out here, haha. Even worse. And then we'll go out to about half here. And that is going to work. Maybe. Oh, dang it. Maybe not, actually, when I think about it. Um, because we need two tracks here. Well, we'll see. Maybe it will work after all. Maybe we had ourselves just a happy little accident. I think that is... 
I know what just happened. Let's try and redo that one. Now, here you can see all the beams are at the same place since we started from the same place. So then you're going to go in here. We're going to be removing this node first. Happy little accident. Gotta love it. And you're going to come out here. And again, make a little helpline here. And then from the top here, we're going to go out here. And we're going to be bringing it out as close to here as humanly possible. Like so. And same here. Uh, find the sweet spot. There we go. Then we'll bring you in. Oh, an epidemic. I'll read that. Although we don't have to worry too much about an epidemic. Okay, so what this uh, thing here does. Let's say you are a train. You're coming on this side of the track. You come in here. Here you can choose to either go in here or continue straight ahead. Uh, if you are a train and comes from here, you can go up here and continue out here. Or you can come up here and go out here. So it's a very nice, and it kind of keeps the um, it kind of keeps the flow of the traffic as well, because they don't have to stop and you know, well they might have to stop, but um, you'll see. Then again, we're gonna be putting in the bridge here. Not quite sure if we would like to have like a uh, an angled bridge or a. Let's give a little bit of an angle to it. Like so. Let's see how that looks. Well. It looks... It looks alright, I guess. Now... I still don't know if it's necessary, but we could have made a road coming underneath here and connected in here. There is room for it, but I mean, it's just for this little area here, and potentially if we want to do anything with this. Uh, Alright, let's say we come from here, see if there actually is room for this. So, turn off the snapping tool. And then continue out here. Then we're going to go up to here and make a snapping point here. Yes, you guessed it. And then we're going to go down here. Is there going to be room for a turn here? No. It's not. Oh, maybe. Uh, let's say we come from this side and bend in here. It is possible. It is absolutely possible. But we're going to have to um, do another little wonky old thing here, like so. And then go underneath the bridge here. And also, what is this? Some unfinished piping. Uh, you can get high priority. Congratulations, mate. Uh, looks like all the roads are actually done. Wow, that was quick. Well, not all of them, but almost. Uh, we can toggle you. So basically, when it's dark green, there is some issues with the uh, with the building. You could either could be that they don't have access to it, or perhaps that just, like, two of the construction offices are uh, in line. Okay, we still have some major issues here. Uh, when it comes to... Um, when it comes to things, things and things, there we go. 
Yeah, a lot of traffic down here by the line. We still have 1.1 million rubles, and we're only going to be using the rubles. The dollars are going to be sitting there. We'll save you. I don't know. We'll save up. Maybe we'll buy a senator. I don't know. Well, some news about that. Um, but are we completely done with all the roads now? Well, almost. Oh, and then we have an unfinished water pipe. Yeah, I think they kind of have like an internal priority system as well. So, for example, roads are a high priority. So, like we have set it up now, basically everything is on normal priority except for the roads, which is on high priority, and the pipes that we have set up to be a high priority. Uh, but if everything was just medium priority, I think there is like an inbuilt priority system. So that means they will be building the pipes first, for example, maybe the power lines. Uh, but yeah, I think there is like an inbuilt prioritization system there. Uh, back to what we was doing here. I... I don't know. I mean, if we're gonna be going out here, I think we could utilize this roundabout here and just go out here and just bridge across here and yeah, I, I think I think that could be good I, or better maybe. And uh, the only thing is, if you come from way out here, well, then you can just go down here, right? Right? Is there no gosh? What a what a what a mountain! Huh. I do wish that they uh, they would add in a couple of features into the into the terrain generation. Uh, it's still an early access game though, so who knows? Maybe if we are lucky, we'll uh, we'll get some uh, terrain generation improvements. For example, like a coastline, have the option of making coastline. So if we click map and drag it out a little bit, so if we could choose, for example, that for example the north and the West as a coastline, for example, or maybe just the north, or maybe just the east. I think that could have been cool. Um, it's a big lake over here. Should we look? I bet you there is tons of resources in here. I kind of feel like there is always resources in in lakes. Uh, anything new we're building? Yep. Okay, there is no iron in here. And there seems to be no oil in here. Hmm. Coal. No coal in here. Well, we still have some uh, some resources that we can't quite uh, look at yet. And that is... Um, bitumen. Which we need to research. And uranium. Oh yes, there is uranium in the game. We're gonna be glowing in the dark. Alright, so what are we doing here? Um, very quick work. Good job, good job. And then you're gonna go to another pipe. This kind of went quite quick, I would say. I wonder if we should also uh, upgrade some more roads here. Now again, this doesn't have room for a mechanic uh, mechanism. Uh, this one does. So we'll make sure that they don't spend workers on that. And let's see here. We kind of also would like to have this road here upgraded all the way out to here. Uh, if we do that, though. Uh, we might have some pathing issues. Unless we can get a road through here. Just a little cheat road. Like so. And then connect. Up 
here. Okay, that's fine. Another pipe is being built. Excellent. So, let's just start from the point here. And upgrade these roads. There are potentially going to be many... Many small building orders here due to all the footpaths. Oh, then again, it's gonna make for the city to look nice and and stuff. Right. Hour of cool. Uh, for some reason we can build here and here. Here and here. Oh, due to that thing there. Okay. There and there. There. And there, that means we probably can build that one and that one. And then we're going to go over these roads. You don't need any workers. High priority. Uh, you don't need any workers. High priority. You don't need any workers. High priority. Yep. That's uh, a lot of uh, roads where we can actually... Save some money on manpower. Wait, I forgot to set them all to my priority. You don't need workers. You need workers. You don't need workers. You need workers. You don't need workers. You don't need workers. Uh, you need workers. You don't need workers. Gosh, we're almost... Almost where we need to be. You don't need work... Uh, you need workers, and you don't need workers. And find a little piece of the road here. There we go. Uh, and the reason why we are doing this... I, I probably said it, but I, I don't remember if I did. Uh, we kind of would like to have these. Don't have to drive in on a mud road um, all the way out here to fetch food. So, the gravel road, as we said be last episode, on a gravel road they can drive 60 kilometers per hour. But a mud road, they can only drive 35 kilometers per hour. So, having a gravel road is, a, is quite an essential upgrade for our infrastructure. Um, also, they don't get slowed down when it rains. So, that's also a good thing. Oh, it's got another pipe that needs to be built. Let's see what things are looking like down here. It is... Uh, it's looking good. It's looking good. That's, um, anything else you'd like to hand upgrade from here? Uh, not yet. Not yet. We're gonna have to upgrade all of these roads here to get to uh, build the um, prison district here, or the law and order district. Yeah, so that is basically, this is basically a trumpet junc junction. It basically, kind of looks like a trumpet, right? Maybe, I don't know. Um, what we're gonna do next, I don't know, maybe we should just make like a little, um, I don't know, do you like to see like everything being built? Or should we try and cut off some of that content because uh, I, I would imagine like this episode and potentially the next episode will just be us building uh, the city here and making sure that these 
have a high priority on their jobs and also making sure that we are actually building things. Still not building these. Strange. Because we could we could sit here and plan out like a bunch of industries and 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 stuff. Which we probably could have done when I think about it. Ooh, but how is that gonna be okay, so what I'm 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 thinking uh, there is actually a path of gravel here. So we could have made like a gravel industry out here. Um, although I don't think we're gonna ha well, maybe. We could have done it. We definitely could have done that. Uh, now we're not quite sure how how much um, we can make our people walk from here. Are they going to be able to walk all the way out here? I'm not 100% sure. Now the... I kind of don't like the idea of us having gravel. I have like a build in my head that I always do. Or I, I always did. Uh, but that includes... Um, this building here, Prefab Panel Factory. And we kind of have to uh, fiddle around a little bit to make this building here fit in with all the other buildings. So that, that building consists of a gravel processing plant, basically. We have a uh, excavator digging up rocks, which we seemingly have here and here. And then we'll ship it with a dumper into this building here, where we'll have people uh, using a sledgehammer, of course, um, breaking rocks. And then we can ship that into an aggregate, and then potentially... Maybe this too. Okay, let's have a look here. What is the quality here? We don't need it to be much. 49, that's terrible. 69, that's nice. 70. But I also feel like having gravel right next to 80%, that's pretty good. 81%, that is pretty good. But having like a, a gravel quarry right next to the ocean here, I kind of feel like that makes no sense. I kind of feel like if we would have a gravel quarry, we probably would have utilized the mountain, right? Here we probably would get 100% efficiency. That also would make it look cool. And the rule of cool must prevail. Right, let's see how things are doing here. We can get you built. Get you built. Or you can get you guys built. How are we doing here? Why are we not doing this? Medium priority. That's why. No workers can use mechanism in here. Now, uh, the same rule goes for the, um... Uh, the same rule goes for the, uh, uh... Asphalt road. If there is room for a mechanism, you don't need workers. I'm not quite sure if it works the same with... Um... With these roads here. Because they need to have electronics. So if we make a s little stretch of land here, you can see it require electrical components and steel. And I don't know. I don't know if we... Um, 
need workers for that. I, I, I think we do. So we're just going to be using basic roads. We also have like a paved road. I'm not quite sure how that works. And then we have trolleybus road and tram tracks. Also, that could have been fun. But it's too late now because we are not going to buy any more vehicles until we can build our own. But having like a, a tram city. Um, is that even going to be possible? Now that we have planned this guy out. Um, let's have a look at the bus stop here. Or passengers. No, so the tram has... Tram small stop and tram large stop. So... Yeah, they also need electricity and steel. Uh, but we could do that for our next city. We could potentially do a trolley bus. Or maybe not. Maybe they're... Hmm. Maybe there is no, like, big stations for trolley buses. Or uh, trams, bus platform, bus platform. Yeah, these are all bus platforms. And these are trolley bus stop. And so is this, and so is that. I'm lying to you. This is a tram, and this is a tram. Maybe they are under here. Maybe we can connect them to potentially a train platform. Oh, there is a similar issue here. Okay, I okay. I, I'm just uh, theory uh, theorizing here. So we have electrical lines for electrical trains. So you can see here, these guys have a uh, they have like little power line above them. And the regular tracks that we are using uh, is. This can drive... Okay, so we also have, like, like old-school tracks, which is made out of uh, wood. So... We also have the metro line, which... I kind of think looks kind of cool. You can't kind of see it now, but when it's built... It has, like, a little... fence on it. Which kind of looks cool. But yeah, there is no, um, uh, we do have a metro station though, and they, they are kind of directional, so we'll come in here and leave here, and then go underground or above ground. But a uh, regular train platform, I mean, do they take electrical tracks? I mean, they must do, right? That looks a little bit funky to me. Is this going to be sending electricity? So, I'm curious if we... If we go from the other side. Yeah, there we go. So we'll have the... Yeah, this is also something we're going to have to think of. Oh, man, there's so much we have to think of. So if we're ever going to be upgrading our track to electrical track. So if we drag it from left to right. Uh, holes are going to stay on that side. But if we drive from uh, right to left, it's going to be on the other side. But then if we... Okay, well, if we go down here and then go the same way, it will kind of fix itself. If we do a third, then 
The one in the middle disappears. Hmm. Well, let's uh, remove all of this before we forget. And this guy needs to go. Didn't we build another station? Yep, there we go. Uh, maybe it says... Oh, there we go, another pipe that needs to be built. That's a high priority. Maybe it says in the station info. Maybe I should read that. For citizens. It does consume electricity. Does it say... Uh, it also has a max speed on this, 150, 150. So there, there is same speed here, 100 for the metro line. 150 for the electrical line. Hmm. Yeah, another thing in the game, if you get like these uh, nasty spots here where there is like brown, yeah, this texture here, there is a way to remove that. Going to treasonous. No, I'm, I'm lying. Go in here, terrain tool, and you go into restore soil. And then we should be getting uh, grass here again. Just a little, little tip. So when that kind of grows back, there will be grass. Um, maybe we'll make Hexagon's farm out here. I mean, it is a big open landscape. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Uh, we'll double check and see if there is any vital resources here. Iron. Doesn't look like it. You just wait and see. It's probably the biggest uranium field you can imagine underneath here. So all the crops are going to be... Uh, well, it's going to be an interesting... Uh, oil. Doesn't seem like any oil in here. Yeah, and they also read down the crops. Oh, we haven't found a single piece where there is coal, have we? Alright, how about in this little area? This looks like a nice little area for a city. Doesn't it? Oh, man. I, I, oh, did I just see coal here? Yeah, there we go. There is coal. Uh, can't build you there though is there any other spots with coal on the mountain here yeah oh hello coal city here oh there's even a little patch here here we could definitely get a bunch of coal going that probably means We're going to have a little mining city in here. Let's continue. Let's also see how things are going around here. Um, yep, just build that. Build those. And build those. And those. Already seem to have started building something here. And we still have uh, 1 million rubles to go. And let's also see if we can... Um... Yeah, we still have some vehicles here that is not doing anything right now. But that's fine. That's fine. I, I, I think. Uh, that is the prison bus. We could move you over here and move the um, fire truck over here. So we have both the fire trucks at the same uh, depot. So, um, so yeah, I wonder if that is kind of where we're going to be uh, calling it for today. So, um, so yeah, let me know what you think. Should we try... Wait, is there two suns? One sun there and one ginormous sun there. 
Are we on Tatooine? Maybe. But yeah, I think that is going to be it for today. Uh, if you uh, if you do have any thoughts about what we should do, if we should uh, kind of play through as we go, or should we make like some sort of um, um, what were they called? Why can't I remember? Speedy clips. Oh, what is the right word for it? Oh no, I can't remember. Um. Time-lapse. Yeah, there we go. That's the right word for it. So if... We, we, we could try that. I'm not very good at making them, but uh, I have made some in the in the past. So, um... But yeah, I, I hope you will let me know, uh, know in the comment section. But yeah, I think that is it for today. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, there should be a like button in the comment section. And of course, a red subscribe button underneath the video. It all goes towards helping us fight that pesky, pesky YouTube algorithm. So yeah, until next time, take care and keep smiling.